Hello there. In this installment, I'm going to show you how to play an uh, easy song using three chords um, called Jamaica Farewell, composed by Irving Berge, and it's known as a Caribbean song. And uh, <clears throat> it's from this book, Four Chord Songbook, released by Cherry Lane. I do use it for various songs and for teaching. You know, as a teacher, songs with a few chords is very attractive. Especially if you're teaching beginners or early intermediates. So, <clears throat> this first uh, chord is D. It's only D, G, and A7. I'll put the sketch of that chord be below in the description. And uh, a link to me performing the song, the way I do it. So there's two, so I'm gonna say numbers like this, two, three, two, zero, X, X, and the first number is the high E string, which fret you should put your finger on, and this next string, so like this. Two means second fret on the first string, three means third fret on the second string, two means second fret on the next string, zero, open D, or the next string, or fourth string is open, X, X meaning don't play these, the fifth and sixth string. So that's your D, then G. I like to do it, you know, I'll do it this way. So three on the first string, zero, 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 on the second, third, and fourth string, uh, X or two, depending what you want. You don't have to actually play a note. Uh, let's say X on the fifth string and three on the sixth string. And then A7 is first string zero, then two, then zero, then two, then zero, X. So zero, two, zero, two, zero, X. And that's a five string chord. D is a four string chord. If you hit the fifth string, it's okay. A is a five string chord. If you hit six strings, it's okay. And G is a five or six string chord, depending if you mute the note out or you play it. In this case. All right. <clears throat> so I'm just like, well, what is this? I'll say the chords as I play it. There are a couple of nuances, maybe, but um, that's pretty much all you need to do to get through the song and make it sound like it. So, <clears throat> D, 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 G for four, A7 for four, back to D for four. say four four I mean four four times I don't I don't mean the time signature four four although it isn't four four anyway so for four strums and then the chorus is the same thing D four times G four times and A seven four times then back to D <clears throat> the only thing is at the end of the chorus it does deviate from the pattern a little bit the instrumental part but i don't think you have to do that you can just play the same four measures d g a 7 d and then go into the next verse that works fine so i'll just play you a verse chorus and maybe a little bit of the next verse so d the 
chords again. It's not what they have in the book, it's slightly different. I think they take out a D measure, whatever. Now verse 2. Sounds of laughter everywhere in the dance of fish sway to and fro. So I'm using the words that are in the book. They seem a little different from the words I was familiar with previously. But it works, and it's kid-friendly. Um, so that's all. If you like the video, please do like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if uh, you want to check out some more easy songs using four chords or less, please um, click the link of easy songs using four chords or less playlist. All right. Till then, till next time, uh, have a great day, man.